Three straight shutouts for the Bobcats goalie Keith Petrozelli as the Bobcats defeat the Colgate Raiders three to nothing from the Frank Parati Jr. Arena. This is the rebound presented by Q30 Sports. I'm Stephen Pappas alongside Tom Krasnowski breaking down the action for today. And Tom, we got to start with Keith Petrozelli. Three straight shutouts, now 197 minutes of shutout hockey for the senior goaltender, and he's just playing out of this world right now. Yeah, that is the second longest streak in program history behind a stretch Michael Gartag had in 2015-16. That was a pretty good year for this Bobcats team. That's a lofty goal, the fact that he's actually close to, to that mark. Uh, like I said, over three-plus games shut out. This one was a little easier on him than some of the other ones had been. That one nothing game against Clarkson, Petrozelli had to stand on his head, make some split saves, diving across the crease. Today was a little easier. His defense helped him out a lot. And Keith mentioned that after the game. He mentioned it's a pretty young defensive core. As the season's gone on, he's gotten more comfortable with them. They've gotten more comfortable with him. There's been more blocked shots, better communication. And it's all led to the best stretch of goaltending. We might have seen uh, Petrozelli ever play here. Three goals scored today, all by first years. But Ty Smolonic stole the show, really, with two today. He's now second in the NCAA in goals with 10. And he's just been a phenom since he stepped on the ice in Hamden. He has been. 10 goals on the year. He has the ability to score on even strength or on the power play. Uh, he's got seven of his 10 goals at evens today. Uh, he does it with snipes. He does it with tips. He does it with passing plays. That first goal, we saw some hand-eye coordination from him, uh, batted that puck down from Rossin. And the second goal of the day, which is the great tic-tac-toe passing play, and he put it in after an assist from Tufto. And Ty was very quick to compliment his teammates after the game, too. I mean, he shares a line with Van Ness and Tufto, and when you got a center that's got 23 assists and a league leading 27 points, you know, as long as you're a finisher like Smolenic is, you're going to be able to pot some goals. And he called it a revenge game after some disappointing uh, results for him on Friday's game. It was the ultimate bounce back for Smolenic, who's having a great season. Well, the final set against Clarkson starts next weekend, a big three games as the Bobcats play Friday, Saturday, and Sunday up in Potsdam. This has been the rebound presented by Q30 Sports.